Are you tired of being attacked by giant birds while you're just trying to explore? Light them on fire, I hear that works. It's Dragon's Dogma from Capcom, a massive RPG adventure game where you create a character and a loyal pawn to explore the gigantic world with you. At the beginning of the game, you'll find mild discomfort as a dragon rips out your heart and eats it, leaving you with a giant scar and a pacemaker known as the Arisen. And yes, you'll spend the next 500 hours trying to kill that damn dragon, and everything else that gets in your way as you explore this monstrous game. Wandering around Dragon's Dogma is like wandering around the woods of Pennsylvania. You're lost and constantly being attacked by giant birds and wolves. But thanks to your knives, swords, and magic, you can show them who's boss and use their precious coats and bones to enhance your weapons. Take that, you stupid wolves. I don't play many of these games because they're really big and take a long time to play, but when I do, I totally get into it, and I like Dragon's Dogma which has the traditional RPG adventure formula, embark on quests, take side missions, slaughter everything in sight to earn experience and level up, with a nice pleasing mixture of button-mashing gameplay combined with the extremely cool pawn system or pawn thing, whatever, whatever you would call it, the pawns. Let's talk about them, because they're important. When you start the game, you choose a class and create a character. I chose Strider and named her Lady Vectrex, because I could. You then create your pawn, your permanent companion for the game. And this is where things get really cool. Because not only can you loan your pawn out to other real players, but you can also borrow theirs for your adventure. Normally, your party will consist of four people, you, your permanent pawn, and two others that you've borrowed from the interwebs. And the cool thing about this is that when people use your pawn and you use theirs, the pawns earn rift experience points, or whatever they're called, that you can then use to contract new pawns. So it's like you're borrowing other players' characters and they borrow yours. So after you spend the night at an inn or something, you'll find that your pawn has been busy while you were sleeping, and they've earned experience, they've gained knowledge of environments and quests, and also, sometimes, bring back useful items. Other players can also rate your pawn. So for those of you who have used ColecoVision, a big thank you. Thanks to your experience points, I was able to pick up some extremely good pawns who helped out in battle. So it's like I just sit back and throw arrows at monsters while the wizards electrocute them. That's called teamwork. Occasionally, the combat can be a bit chaotic and confusing, the game is jerky at times, and can suffer from slowdown during some really big battles. I find all of that forgivable because it's just such a huge, awesome game. If you like these, you will love exploring the world in Dragon's Dogma. There's a lot of detail and an immense sense of depth. Everywhere you go, you'll find new things to kill, new quests to take, and new stuff to collect and enhance your weapons. Assembling a good party is essential for completing your quests, as frequently you'll find your pawns get killed off, fall off a cliff, or lost in battle. You might miss them if you're down to two or three people fighting something really powerful. Now, as far as I know, when the pawns are killed off in your game, they aren't actually eliminated in their original game. But wouldn't that be fun, to send them back with a venereal disease? Your pawn's been busy. No doubt there's a lot of monster hunter inspiration in the game as you can slaughter monsters and collect 
beef steaks. Mmm, throw that on the grill. You can also mine precious ores and use your pawn as a pack mule and give them all the heavy stuff. While you just run around looking good. In addition to earning some rift experience points, when other people use your pawn, they also gain some quest knowledge. And frequently give you pointers when on an adventure they're familiar with that you're not. It's actually pretty cool, at one point ColecoVision's like, Sire, there's a chest on top of this tower, and sure enough, there was. Then I gave him some more heavy crap to carry and told him to shut up. The game is big, there's lots of stuff to do, lots to explore, many quests to embark on in Dragon's Dogma, which is kind of a silly title that doesn't roll off the tongue very well, does it? Dragon's Dogma. May I suggest an alternate title for the sequel? Dragon Dungeon Ninja Hyper Alpha Turbo Remix Championship Edition for the Sega Dreamcast. Two stars for appearance, ColecoVision combed his hair and everything. That hurts. So does being lit on fire by a giant dragon. <laughs> <laughs> 